there. The sun is in the Kermit the Frog Eye Sprite. But then um, Newcomer was actually the winner. He's in that number 63 red Austin Healy, and he won our fast cooling shirt yesterday. Well, as you can see, the safety car peeling off now to allow these races to pass our commentary position. The green flag waves, and away they go for our first race in SVRA on the second day of the first meet of the year. It's group one, two, three, four, and five B, and away they go on a great start by the little Lotus there at the front as they all jostle for position. Good start by the number one, Travis Eden. Travis had a great run yesterday behind him, the all yellow Rob Banks in the 21, and they'll be coming up to turn three, the first possible overtake here. The first two are cleanly through, and is there an overtake? I wonder for third maybe, or fourth at least. Yeah, it looks like Bowden was able to take John Nash. Bowden is in that open wheel Formula B, but watch for Travis Engen. Travis Engen just got out of his Audi R8 in our hour and a half morning Enduro. So he's warmed right up. into that car. Yeah, yeah so that'll warm you up, on it? He knows where the track is slick and where it isn't. His Ramble Green locks up his brakes a little bit. Travis Engen takes it on the inside, and Bowden comes around the yellow car there of Rob Banks. Look for Bowden to try to get ahead of these two Lotus 23Bs. Now, we talked about this yesterday, but let's bring it up again. Why the open wheeler in this particular category? Because everything else um, is pretty much uh, sports car. Yeah, we only have two of the Group 2 open wheelers, and we don't like to say no to anybody. We'd like to have a lot more. If we had about 10 or 15, they'd have their own run group. But because there's just two, Rob Bowden and Duke Waldrop, we have them race in this group that the lap times are similar. Well, it uh, looks as though Rob Banks is trying to have a go at Bowden, and he does so. Nice overtake by Rob Banks. Wow, very good indeed. And there's John Nash, the man you mentioned before. He's likely to be uh, pushing for a podium, but now Bowden coming back on Banks. So this is going to be a good battle throughout, I would have thought. And Bowden was uh, pipping on the uh, podium yesterday, but uh, had to work his way through. You can see the airport in the background, still a working airport. Uh, we use the old runway, but uh, as they dive through Bishop, you can really get a, an idea from the drone just uh, how long and how, uh, well, how t um, tough this circuit is and how technical it is, even though it's very flat. Down the Almond Strait, very long indeed. Took him four minutes in a golf cart. Well, it'll take them about 10 seconds here, but Engen starting to open up his lead now here at Sebring. And still, Banks and Bowden going at each other. The 21 got ahead of him just a moment ago, and if these two keep playing the way they are, Nash is going to catch both of them. Yeah, and there's that Devin D. Porsche right there. Cliff Murray, great car, but one of the shots I just saw there, Travis Engen, look at how much higher his car sits. Uh, he's the red 23B, then Randall Green, totally different setups. Travis Engen has a lot more experience on this track and knows how bumpy it is, so he's put his car up pretty high with GMT Racing. Uh, they set it up pretty high to take the corners. Randall Green has his low. We'll see who's, uh, whose setup has the advantage. We see Duke Waldron go around turn one. High and above, and look at Engen go, but this battle for second is starting to heat up now because uh, a lot of pressure from Bowden. Dropping off now is Banks in the all yellow. But the field nicely spread out, and just the second of six laps and you haven't got a lot of time to sort yourself out. You don't want to make, make a mistake. I know it's uh, SVRA, but you don't want to make a mistake, do you? Because there's really very few laps that you can come back back on. Yeah, this is a momentum track. You can't miss a turn here because that momentum is everything. Because even though there are long straights, especially in this kind of more small board class, you've got to keep your momentum. Like we're seeing Nick Skirmance there. He's got that turn seven so dialed in he can run that thing so fast yeah beautiful and, and just a reminder don't forget to download and subscribe to our app and we welcome our viewers across the internet and uh, we want you to download that app and uh, join us for the full days of racing and uh, we are now going to the app and uh, it's it's going to be uh, well there's so much available to you the live racing timing and scoring race replays highlights clips so everything's going on in the series news. And Ben, you play a big part of that when we're not racing features and so on and so forth. So uh, there's lots to see and do. It doesn't mean that you have to be on it all the time uh, during the race weekend. There's plenty to do during the week to, to catch up, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we'll put a lot of highlights up there. 
kind of like how we've been running our social media channels uh, with Ashley and the, the clips that she's posting there. But if you're watching this on Facebook, remember, download the app because we're going to switch over to the app. But if you are watching, tell us where you're watching from and who you're rooting for in this race as Rob Bowden looks like he takes second place, but Rob Banks is trying to duck under, under Randall Green there. I asked Rob yesterday at the podium all about that car, and he said, she is a fast machine. She keeps her motor clean, and he is out there running it right now. Yeah. So we're spreading it out. I love this number 70. It's a beautiful looking. Vic Skirmatz, the man you mentioned before, that Porsche 356B, that is a babe. I absolutely love that. John Nash, uh, he's been with SPRA forever, hasn't he? No, he certainly actually, does. He, well, he's done, yeah, he started he, racing he, forever. Yeah, he has no. done racing forever, but he uh, and his wife Lorna came to our racing school about three years ago, and since then, he's almost at every SVRA race, and we love having them in the paddock. His crew chief, Jeff, does a lot of great work, and he races two identical, almost identical, Lotus 7s. As we look at Robert Allred, for some reason, in a yellow a Lotus 7 out there, 007A, really fast driver. Great to see him out there. Travis Engen, though, looks like GMT got that set up right. Uh, he's taking off to see if Robert Bowden can take him. As Rob Banks comes up on Randall Green. That's going to be the battle, I think, right there. Got no change at the front because Travis is doing what he did yesterday, pretty much, and pulling away at the front as we take a look further back at some Ford of the Haycock other and yep. Anthony Hess. Anthony Hess, that's a beautiful MGB. And one thing I love about that being an MGB guy is he's running rear disc brakes. And then there's Ford Haycock in that beautiful Porsche 356. Like we were talking about Ford Haycock, the founder of SVRA. But here's the battle. And this is where Rob Banks gets this corner right. Let's see if he can duck under Yeah, here. this is where he likes his overtakes, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, look at that. Hell's bells, that was good. Done. That was very good. Very nice indeed. So good battle going on here. Here's one of uh, your favorite cars, the little bug eye. Yeah, look at the smile. He's just having a blast. Driver too, the car. Look at that smile on the car. And he is our recipient winner of our first uh, fast cooling shirt yesterday. He Great did, yes. Yeah. yeah, we'll have another one of those drawers later today. Uh, we're giving away some fast. Melissa Clay will be up here to give away some fast cooling shirts. So that uh, that's a quite a prize. I had it. It's the closest I've had a look at one yesterday. Uh, look at the lead he's got now, though. Bowden in a, a solid second, but Rob Banks now in third, starting to make his way up on Bowden and starting to look to see if he can get past. But he's uh, dispensed with Randall. Randall Green. Green. That's a great shot of the different tarmacs, and you can see yeah. there that he's in the asphalt sealer where they patched it one time. So just. There are probably six different surfaces on this one track. We don't get that very much. You well, know, lots of times there's patches, but there's three distinct surfaces, but then there's different iterations of the asphalt where they've had to patch it. Well, I was trying to challenge Mike Skeen to tell me what makes Sebring so special yesterday, as somebody who knows it so well. And he said, basically, it is the, the, the different types of asphalt down and concrete. And he said, that just gives different grip levels, and it's really hard. He said, you, you're setting up the car, you can't set it up for one certain, you know, like if you're a coder, it's all very, very much the same. So it's easy to set up, whereas here, it's almost a nightmare. You've got to almost make a compromise. A compromising, nicely done. Looks like the 007A of Robert Alford just going through there, all red, uh, going through there in his Super 7. John, I want to say that Richard Culverhouse is watching from the UK. Well, welcome aboard. High above the Sebring circuit. This is our first group races. We've got several different groups to show you this morning. And these guys get plenty of time on track. And once again, a bumper field for the 2021 season of SVRA. This is a great battle here. Mick Skirmans, like I said, he thinks he has now started. I, I talked to him at the podium yesterday in 855 races. Has he really? In his career. Yeah, that's not practice laps. That's, that's green flag races. And here's that battle again. Porsche 356. This is what I love about vintage racing. There's an air-cooled rear engine Porsche versus a water-cooled front engine rear-wheel drive MGB.
talk more about Ford Haycock because you told me the story yesterday, but it's worth telling again because he is a, an institution almost. Yeah, oh yeah, one of my heroes, and he's taught me so much about racing and vintage racing, but the founder of SVRA, and it started here at the 12 Hours of Sebring. He lived here and worked the business out of here, and I think they approached him and said, hey, how about doing like an opener with some of the old vintage race cars that you're connected with? And they had so much fun doing that that they started this SVRA, which was originally the Southeast Vintage Racing Organization Association. And then he thought, well, we want to do more tracks than just the Southeast. So they renamed it to Sports Car Vintage Racing Association. He founded Vintage Motorsports Magazine, and we love having him out here. Just a great person to have out on the track with us. And uh, I really love his approach to vintage racing. Penultimate lap, and Travis Engen has increased his lead now to over 8.7 seconds over Robert Bowden. Fastest lap by Engen at 2.27 compared to Bowden's 2.28. Uh, Rob Banks did a 2.26.7. He's going to be pleased with that. He is flying. He's a missile at the moment. Yeah, and he uh, is a local here. So he, I think he would consider this one of his home tracks. He's got many different great cars, but I really like that Royale RP. That's a fun car out there. That's a great shot. Of yeah, the you momentum. can see how far the gap is that Travis has got. He's in a world of his own, isn't he? There's nobody near him, but he's pushing on. He's putting in some great lap times, but doing it very smoothly, too, as we look high and above him and heading down that long straight, the Fangio straight, as it's known, into turn 10, hard on the brakes and down to, what, almost 50 miles an hour through there, then upping it again for a moment before dropping back down to about... Uh, 45 and into the tower corner. Like I said, the exit out of here, very important. Look at how low that car is. You can really see his hands working. And it's crazy to think that a driver like Travis Engen on a normal SVRA weekend, he could go from this car to a Formula B to a Group 9 Indy Lights car to the Audi R8. There it is. John Nash doing a really good job. I love seeing it from up here because you really see the speed difference and differential between them. And uh, you can see the slower cars getting out of the way. And that's a skill also in SVRA. Uh, and we talked about this yesterday. Um, you know, who does SVRA? It's not, uh, yes, vintage cars, but it's not a bunch of vintage racers. Uh, a lot of these guys are youngsters coming up, yeah. coming in for the first time. So if you're a sort of 18-year-old and you fancy you can't afford necessarily to do uh, formula racing or big sports car racing in IMSA, this is a great way to learn. I think it's the best way, to be honest, because you have... Uh, drivers like a Travis Engen or a Rob Banks who would love to take younger drivers under their wings, show them what they're doing. Nobody's trying to tear up their equipment. Everybody helps everybody. And the cars, in my opinion, are very difficult to drive because yes. most of the cars that race with us don't have any kind of driver's aids. You have to set up the suspensions. And so if you can drive a difficult or a slow car fast, you can drive anything fast. Yeah, it's a very good point. Look at this battle, Rob Banks and Bowden now. They're going wheel to wheel into turn one. Great shot there between these two. Bowden just squeaking through that there. That was a dirty deed done dirt <laughs> cheap by, Mark, or by Bowden. Yeah, very nice. Very nicely done. And uh, down the Ullman straight come the back markers, or at least the midfield, I should say. But that was a nice move by Bowden on Banks. And Green still in, what, fourth position now? Through the Sunset Bend they come. And back and high over turn four and five. That battle continues and Banks has yep. got it back. Good stuff. Yep. Let's see if Bowden can take him here. Rob Banks has, it seems like he has this part of the track dialed in, especially tower corner. It's going to be tough for Bowden. Bowden might be able to get him on the Ullman, but then I think Rob might be able to get him back at 17. We might have a good finish here for overall second place. Yeah, going to say, he got a podium to Banks yesterday, I think, and uh, so he's gunning for that again. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's definitely got his work cut out against Bowden, that's for sure. Here they are again. Very different cards, but... Uh, Competitive all the same. Yeah, you can see Rob looking in his mirror, making sure he's not there. Great race with lots of experience, Rob. It's really fun to watch, especially when these two cars never really get to race each other on the track. Right. Now, I'm not sure Rob's raced that Royale against a Formula B before, so he's not quite sure what it can and cannot do. And, uh, you know, he, he's getting to watch this as well. But I think Rob's going to be able to take it. I'm not sure 
Bowden's going to be able to get the drag down the straight to be able to pass him. Well, we'll soon find out. This is the final lap then of our first race of the day. Group 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5B. Here comes your leader trying to squeeze his way through. Uh, some of the slower cars or Travis Engin doing another commanding performance here. And he just feathers the throttle through the last sunset bend and comes on to the main straight and he'll see that checkered flag and there it is. And that's a country mile win once again. Travis Engin wins here in the feature race there we go. two. Look at this. Oh, oh look at this, Bowden. side by side. When, what's gonna happen? Oh, I'm not quite sure who took that. Well, that was awesome. Well, they're calling it for Bowden and Banks taking third. And, but that was a great run to the line between the pair of them. So Banks did a good job there at the end. Yeah. to try to hold him off but that was really a shoot to thrill wasn't it yeah and even yeah that was and knowing rob banks he's gonna love that even though he came in third he he just wants to race and wants somebody to be competitive so he's gonna get out of the car and high five it's gonna be all parties at the podium and that's <laughs> the spirit of vintage racing you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun he did say he's gonna uh, repaint that car so we might see him back in black in that beautiful yep royale rp but uh great racing well, it's a long way to the top, but certainly Travis Engen did it in style. Got it all the way through and win, wins by what? Over seven seconds there over Robert Bowden, who just picked Rob Banks to the line. And now the rest of the field coming to the line too. Good friendship, good camaraderie. And I've got plenty of talking points now for these guys as they head back to the pits. There's the scan mats. And a replay. quick look at some of the highlights, some good racing throughout this. But that's the man to watch. He didn't start in the lead, but he was in the lead by the time they came to the hairpin. Well, a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to switch to the app, I believe. So make sure you download and subscribe to our app. So happy that you joined us on Facebook. Thank you for telling us all these great comments. And, um, you know, keep them coming. Keep the comments coming. If you're watching, stay on this page and comment a little bit, and uh, we'll take some of your advice. If you want us to cover a certain car, we'll do it. But thank you for joining us. Go to the App Store, Google Play, and download the SVRA or Trans Am app. We're at Sebring all day today, the glorious, iconic Sebring circuit. The 12 hours just around the corner, but we're paying homage to what it has become here at Sebring with SVRA and Trans Am, but it all began for Trans Am as well. Travis Hengen crossing the line in style, winning by over seven seconds. What a finish for these two, Bowden Woo. and Banks. Look at that. You Woo. see that Banks has big balls to be able to <laughs> take over like that. Good stuff. Excellent. Plenty more racing to come. And coming up next, another group race. That'll be group six and 12A. So we take a breath as they will do the same, but uh, good, good start to the day. Well done to Travis, another good weekend for him. And confirmation of the result then, Travis Engen taking the Lotus 23B to a win by some 7.1 seconds over Robert Bowden, who just squeaked past Rob Banks to third. Randall Green on the podium yesterday, but he takes fourth. Duke Waldrop takes fifth place. John Nash, not as competitive today in that Lotus Super 7, but still up there. Robert Allred, seventh. Cliff Murray, eighth. Uh, Vic Skirmans in ninth position, and Scott Fraser, tenth. Further down, Rick Fraser, Anthony Hess, Ford Haycock, the man we were talking about in that Porsche 356B, and Greg Newcomer, Andrew McLean in 50. Hey race fans, this is a replay, but to be able to watch the finest vintage racing in America live, download the app or scan the QR code and subscribe. Available on both Android and iOS, this is the only place to watch the 2021 season of SVRA live with over 10 hours of coverage each and every weekend. Our unique live stream coverage will bring you all the action from each group as well as live timing results and news from the biggest collection of vintage racers in the USA. Subscriptions for the race weekend are just $9.99 per weekend or $59.99 for the season. 
To subscribe, download the SBRA app or scan the QR code now and be part of the future of American vintage racing with SBRA.